San Diego is an satellite cruiser from the Eagle Union and is known all throughout the game as the biggest meme ship who always boasts about being number one. She isn't just a meme ship, but she also has her own cult that worship her as some kind of goddess which is why she earned the nickname the guardian goddess of the Sandy server. She is both hated and loved by players because of how she is, she is loved by players because of her stats and how easy it is to obtain her letting people farm metals for exchange and hated because of how annoyingly noisy she is and how she obliterates planes in PvP especially when given an AA build. San Diego is one of the four Atlanta class cruisers currently in the game and is the only one which is an SR, while other three and all rare. Looking at this, one will think that San Diego is special, which she really is. San Diego has an incredibly high anti-air stats which is farther complemented by her insanely high anti-air gear efficiency. This makes her a go-to ship for players who needs a ship that has good enough anti-air capability for sortie and CP infested map like the chapter 12 where the total anti-air capability of your fleet will decide if you will succeed or not. As you all know. San Diego is a specialist who specializes in anti-air. She gets a B4 firepower, a C4 HP, an S4 anti-air, a B4 speed and a D4 torpedo. While she is capable of dealing acceptable damage to enemy ship, she is mostly prized by players for her anti-air stats. You have noticed that I keep saying anti-air in this video. That is because that is the sole reason for her existence. While other light cruisers from the Eagle Union has a skill that lets them sacrifice their firepower in exchange for an anti-air buffs. San Diego on the other hand readily comes with a skill that lets her buff everyone's AA. Her first skill which is called I'm number one gives her a 15% chance to increase the air of your entire fleet by 50% for 8 seconds when she fires anti-air guns. This skill is particularly useful if you are running her on a sortie with other ships that has high anti-air stats like her sisters in the Cleveland class. This skill lets your fleet easily get rid of all planes that the enemy had launched. The only drawback of this skill is the low proc chance. Her next skill is, you guessed it, all out assault, which is a barrage skill that is triggered by firing her main gun 8 times for her pre-retrofit form and 16 times for her atrophit form. You might be thinking why the activation condition of her skill gets a massive nerf after a trophid but this is because her all out assault skill has changed into all out assault San Diego which is far more powerful and devastating to the enemy. She also gets main gun base plus one after a trophid, so the activation condition for her all out assault has to be nerfed to balance her skill. San Diego is also currently the only SR ship in the EN server that has a retrofit that when completed will not only upgrade her rarity from super rare to ultra rare but will also make her into a San Diego with steroids mixed with methamphetamine hydrochloride because of how absurdly overpowered she becomes and how retarded her retrofit skill is. Her retrofit gives her additional reload, HP, anti-air stats, anti-air efficiency, main weapon efficiency and MG plus 1. To top it up, she also gets her retrofit skill Sparkling Battle Star which is a barrage skill that has a passive buff. This skill passively increases her AA by 25%. Yes it gives a permanent passive buff of increasing her AA by 25%. As if her anti-air capabilities were not enough for her with just her I'm number one skill. Additionally, it also gives her a 100% chance of firing a special barrage every 20 seconds. However all of this comes at a great price. Literally. Not only that it cost a crap ton of coins but it also eats a lot of T2 and T3 cruiser atrophic blueprints as well as a crap ton of T3 general and main gun parts. However that is all worth it, because as long as you have San Diego Retrofit on your fleet, CV Zhang planes are nothing to be afraid of. Now for the build. For her main gun, I personally recommend the Gold Twin 127mm MK12 dual gun on her for rapid fire and additional line air stats. This is also a historically accurate build on her, because this is a type of gun she is armed with. In fact she loves it so much, that she has 8 of this stuff. You could also give her the single 138.6mm main gun MLE 1929 to her for more firepower and damage, but do keep in mind that this gun isn't a DP gun, 
so it does not have any AA stat bonus. For her torpedoes, I recommend the gold quintuple 533mm torpedo on her, if you want to go manual, which you should, when you are playing on higher maps. You could also give her the rainbow quintuple 533mm magnetic torpedo, if you want to go auto, but I personally think, that wasting a fine equipment on her is not a good idea, since there are other ships that can utilize this equipment far more effectively than San Diego. For her anti-air, considering how terrifying her anti-air stats are, and how high her gear efficiency is you could say that any T3 anti-air gun will work on her. I personally just use the quadruple 40mm boffers on her. For her auxiliary, I recommend giving her the gold high performance air radar for far more AA stats. Alternatively, if you don't have one of this, you can go for the purple air radar. For her second auxiliary, you could give her a high performance hydraulic steering gear to increase her evasion stats. You could also give her a repair to Laura torpedo bulge if you want to increase her survivability. This are just my personal suggestion for her and everyone is free to either use it or ignore it. Now for fleet arrangement. San Diego is best use in an anti-CV fleet, such as a fleet with Illustrious, so that you can bully enemy CVs more, and make CV infested maps like the chapter 12 a very easy one or bully enemies in PvP who likes to go for a full CV backline. However just because she is best used in an anti-CV fleet doesn't mean that she is restricted to this kind of fleets. She can also be put together with ships with high firepower and torpedo damage output, so that you can have a vanguard fleet that could take care of both surface and air threats. Whatever fleet you decide to put her on, just always keep in mind that San Diego is an air cruiser, so it's best to always take advantage of this by putting her on a fleet that you will be using to deal with map notes that has CV and planes on them. That's it for this video, and I hope that I was able to make this informative and helpful in some way. As always, the things that I said in this video are just my suggestion and everyone is free to use it or ignore it. If you like this video then please, do leave a like, and subscribe to my channel. Next week we will be talking about the flagship of the Sakura Empire, Battleship Nagato. Well then, I will see you guys around.